I made my teacher cry. <laughs> Story time. When I was in second grade, I had this teacher and she was the devil and we're gonna name her Miss Jackson. And the reason I call her a devil is because she would say really mean things to me to my face. She would be like, Ty, stop talking like that. You sound like a little girl. Or your favorite color can't be pink. You have to choose one of the boy colors. And since I was so young, I didn't understand how serious these things were and I didn't know I can get her in trouble. And I would go home sad like every single day. Eventually my mom noticed and she asked me what was wrong. So I told her some of the things that Miss Jackson would say to me and my mom was mad. And my mom was like, the next time she says something to you, say something rude back. And if you get in trouble, I'll handle her from there. So I was like, okay, I'll do it. Now, Miss Jackson was a heavy lady. So I knew if I said something rude to her, it would be about her weight. Though we don't body shame around here. We don't do that, okay? So I'm in school eating lunch with my friends who happen to be girls. And Miss Jackson comes up to me and she's like, shouldn't you be eating with the boys? So I looked at her and I was like, shouldn't you be eating a salad? And the lunchroom start laughing and then she started crying. <laughs> Funny things kids have said to me while I'm performing as a mermaid, part eight. One little girl was asking about the tip jars and I said, oh yes, sometimes people give me treasure. And she said, oh, well I have big money, but it's at home. So I swim through this hole in the wall into the back room where I take my break. I take a 30 minute break and then I get back in the water and do another show. So I get back in the water and the little girl said, oh, where'd you go? And I said, oh, well I was taking a nap. And she didn't believe me. You believe I'm a real mermaid with a real tail that I grew and I live in the ocean but you don't believe that it took a nap that only lasted 30 minutes. This one's not funny, this one's just super sweet. Today a little girl bought a mermaid doll in the gift shop and showed it to me and said, I bought this so I could remember the best day of my life when I met a mermaid. That kid just said, mermaid, I can see your tail. But I don't know how I can see my tail when it's way over here. One day my cousin made a Tinder and we were having a family barbecue so he came over. He was like, oh my God, Sam, like this really hot girl just like matched with me and then he shows me. And then I see the profile and it's literally pictures of Madison beer. But the name on the profile was like Kalani. I was like, bro, I don't know who you think you're fucking texting, but it's not Madison beer. You're, you're texting someone's fucking auntie right now. Whole ass auntie. He's like, guess we're about to find out. I was like, <laughs> no, what the, f no. He's like, yeah, I just gave her the Addy. She's about to pull up. Like, we're going to meet. Like, it's all cool, Sam. Like, trust me. Trust me. Trust me, he said. Okay. I trusted him. So I see a car pull up and he's like, oh my God, I think it's her. I was like, oh shit, what if I do meet Madison Beer? Oh my the door freaking opens. And this old lady pops up. I look at my cousin and I'm like, go! Go hug her! Go, go, go! He was so excited! It's Kalani! The one and only! Come on! Here's the story about the time I accidentally walked the red carpet at the Tony Awards. So my sister and I got tickets as general audience members. Obviously the dress code was formal, so here we are walking around Manhattan in our gowns. You can see Radio City and here I've zoomed in to show that visibility was blocked and people were trying to see the red carpet. So we walked to the end of the street, not sure how we were going to find the line to get into the theater, and a police officer came over to us and said, you girls are going to the show, right? And we said yes. So he escorted us through security and into an area that we assumed would be the general line, and this is what we saw. By the time we realized he'd brought us to the red carpet, he was already gone. There were other people in gowns that weren't being interviewed or photographed, so we briefly thought that this might be the general waiting area, but we quickly figured out they were friends and family of the stars, and one of them offered to take a picture of us, so that was nice. If we looked stressed, it's because we were. We were scared to tell anyone we weren't supposed to be there because we didn't want to get in trouble, even though it wasn't our fault. So we just followed the nice family that took our picture all the way along the red carpet until we got to the front entrance and an employee asked to see our tickets, and once he saw them, he said, You shouldn't be here. And we said, We know time about the first time I wore a swimsuit at the beach. I'm 21 and it's the first time I'm going to wear a swimsuit in public. I'm really nervous and my boyfriend is like, take off your t-shirt, let's just go. I'm like, okay, it's cool, let's, let's do this, let's go. I get like an inch before the water and I hear to the left of me, your body's offending me. And I'm like, yeah, you, your body's offending me and you look like a whore. This is my first time I've worn a swimsuit out ever in public and this is what happens? So, I mean, as soon as you call out my body, I just was like, you just opened all doors for me to roast you. Oh, so I did it. I stooped to her level and well, fuck you, you fat bitch. That's why you eat McDonald's every day to look like that. And I work out every day to look like this, you fucking crackhead, motherfucking ass, oompa loompa body ass bitch. And well, she's all like, oh my God. Runs to her husband that was looking at me. And he comes up to my boyfriend and he's like Okay, I'm like documenting my death right now But there's like a black van following me And I was at Walmart and I got groceries And I got in my car and like shut the door And this lady came up to my window And she was like knocking on it And she was like, 
hey, like, I really need your phone. Like, I need, I'm not okay. Like, I need to call for a ride home. Like, can I please have your phone? And I was like, could you, like, go inside and ask for help? Like, I, I don't want to give you my phone. Like, I'm sorry. It's not personal. And she was like, no, they won't help me. Like, I need your phone. And I started realizing, like, what was going on. Oh, my God, they're still following me. And I saw this black van, next, like, park, parked next to me. And this man was just, like, sitting in there. And I, like, looked at the van and I looked at her and I was like, I'm so sorry, but I can't help you. And so I, like, left. And I think, like, she has my license plate number because they're following me and I'm freaking out. Shit, I'm gonna... Dirty old man. Stop staring at my fucking daughter's ass. Fuck you. Get away from me. Get away from me now. You're bothering me. Get away. You're harassing me. Get the fuck away from me. He's calling my daughter a whore. Because he's staring at her ass. And now he's fucking following me. 